One of the first things I noticed when I started using Access 2007 was this new navigation pane. It's replaced the database window from earlier versions of Access as the primary means of getting around in a database. I can use any object by double-clicking it. If I right-click an object, I see a shortcut menu that lets me do a variety of things, such as opening an object in Design View. To give myself more workspace, I can close the navigation pane by clicking the Open Close button in its top right corner. When the navigation pane is closed, I see only its Open Close button and the shutter bar. To reopen it, I just click the shutter bar. Using the navigation pane, I can organize the objects in my database into categories and groups. Categories help me arrange the items in the navigation pane, and groups let me filter the categorized items. When I select a category, the items are arranged into the groups that the category contains. For example, if I choose the Object Type category, the items are arranged into groups of tables, queries, and so on. I can click a group's header to hide or show its contents. When I select a group, items that aren't in that group get filtered out, so I can work with just the items I want. There are four built-in categories, Object Type, Tables and Related Views, Created Date, and Modified Date. Let's look at the Object Type category again. The navigation pane doesn't display empty groups. For example, this database doesn't have any macros in it, so the Macros group isn't displayed. If I create a macro, I'll just use a beep action, for example, the Macros group appears, with my macro in it. If I don't want the navigation pane to display certain object type groups, I can turn them off in the Navigation Options dialog box. To open the dialog box, I right-click the top of the navigation pane and then click Navigation Options on the shortcut menu. If I clear the checkbox for Macros, the Macros group disappears. My macro isn't gone, it just isn't listed here anymore. If I turn the macros group back on, my macro shows up again. Now let's look at the Tables and Related Views category. In Tables and Related Views, each table in the database has its own group. Other types of objects, such as queries, show up in the same group as the table that they are based on. If an object is based on more than one table, it shows up under each of them. If an object is not based on any table, it shows up in a catch-all group, unrelated objects. The created date and modified date categories are very similar. These categories have groups based on date intervals, such as today and last week. If I select the modified date category, the objects are arranged in chronological order of when they were last changed. I can also change the way that objects in the Created Date and Modified Date categories appear. I'll display object details so that I can see the Created Date and Modified Date. And then I'll sort the objects so that the most recent ones are on top. Notice how my Beep macro is visible again. It's only hidden in the Tables and Related Views category. To hide an object in all categories, I right-click the object and set its hidden property. Now, no matter which category I choose and whether my macros group is shown, my macro stays hidden. I can also use the navigation pane to create custom categories and groups. This database has a custom category named Contacts Navigation, which contains two groups. In the Contacts Navigation category, the Contacts group contains shortcuts to the forms and reports that I use to record or review contact information. The Supporting Objects group contains shortcuts to the tables and queries that support the objects shown in the Contacts group. For example, each of these items uses data from the Contacts table. Unlike the items in built-in groups, items in custom groups are shortcuts to objects, not the objects themselves. When I delete an item from a custom group, it moves to the Unassigned Objects group. 
Every custom category has an unassigned objects group. This group shows objects that aren't assigned to any other group in the category. The objects in the unassigned objects group are not shortcuts. If I delete them, I am deleting database objects. I definitely don't want to delete my zip table, so I click No. To assign an object to a group, I drag it there. When I want to manage my custom categories and groups, I use the Navigation Options dialog box. I can add a custom category or group, I can rename them, and I can delete them. I can also adjust the display order of custom categories and groups. At the bottom of the dialog box, I can set display options, such as whether to display hidden objects and whether to display the search bar and I can also set the way I open objects. There's my beep macro again. Now I'll delete it for good. There's the search bar I turned on. When I type something in the search bar, the navigation pane hides items with names that don't match what I'm typing. The search bar helps me find things when there are a lot of items displayed. To clear the search bar, I click here. There's more to learn about using the navigation pane, but this should get you started. If you have more questions, remember, help is right here.